Many look to travel this weekend. You'll still need a mask in some places, and that got us thinking, when was the last time you washed your mask? Recently, a University of Florida lab analysis found bacteria, viruses, and fungi in masks, including three with dangerous pathogenic and pneumonia-causing bacteria. These were on kids' masks that they tested. So that is raising some concerns from parents worried about the risk of this to their children. To answer more of our questions, our Nine Health expert, Dr. Powell Coley, joins us. Good morning, Dr. Coley. Hi, Corey. Good morning. So I read this article, kind of gross, yeah. what was on these kids' masks. What was your takeaway from it? I, I agree with you. It was very gross. But my takeaway from this was not that we need to get rid of the masks for our kids. Because remember, they're not vaccinated, and this is the only way that we're going to protect them until they can be eligible for the vaccine. My takeaway was we're not doing a good job keeping our masks clean. And I have to say, I'm somebody who's responsible for that as well, because we've gotten sloppy. We throw them around, and we don't change them as regularly as we should. And I'm sure it's kind of harder for kids too, you know, I mean, adults, we wash things, we do the laundry, but like with kids, they're just always touching things and all of the germs. That's exactly right. And that's a big factor from it. And I think what this should tell us, I sort of think of it like a, our kids' toothbrush, right? It, if we don't change it often, we don't teach them how to use it correctly, it's gonna get really gross. So we really need to, as parents, teach our kids how to be clean, how to change their masks, and make sure we stock them with plenty of masks so that they can do that on a regular basis. So what factors increase risks of bacteria on masks? Uh, great question. So heat and humidity, both of the factors that are going to happen this summer. So I think about a mask being in a closed car or being in a backpack after we've been breathing on it all day long. And that's really an incubator for viruses, bacteria and fungus to really grow on those masks. So how often should we be changing out our masks? single use only. So remember a year ago we were having the discussion there was a PPE shortage and we were unable to get things. We're not in that situation anymore. So we really need to be changing our mask pretty much every time after we wear it. We shouldn't use the dirty side as the clean side so we should be sure there's an outside and an inside of the mask. And if it's not possible to wash your mask every single time and you want to wash it and dry it on very high heat, then use those single disposable masks so that you can use it single use. And lastly, what are some medical issues that can arise that parents maybe should watch out for with masks. Yeah, so there are some medical things. Now, thankfully, carbon dioxide retention is not one of those, so we don't have to worry about that. But kids that have behavioral problems, they could have challenges with the mask, so you want to have your radar up for if the mask is causing any behavioral or psychological problems in your kids. Acne, especially in the teenagers or the older kids, because we're breathing back a lot of that humidity in our face, we can get clogged pores. So talk to your child's dermatologist about whether you can change their skincare routine. Uh, chapped lips, uh, again, because of the moisture created inside the mask, it can affect our lips. And then finally, we don't drink as much water when we're wearing that mask. And especially here in Colorado, we can get very dehydrated. So reminding our, our children to keep that water bottle handy. All right, Dr. Coley, I'm glad you weighed in on that. Thank you.